In this video, I want to be solving these linear equations, but they also have an algebraic fraction involved. So they're always going to be a little bit more complicated to deal with just because they have that fraction element to them. So I want to show you um, one way of solving each of these. So if we have a look at the first one, x over 3 plus x over 2 is equal to 10. What you want to do is get rid of the fractions. And to get rid of fractions, you can multiply everything by the denominator. Now, we have two denominators here. We've got the 3 and we've got the 2. So it's really your choice about which one you start with. So let's say we started with the 3. That means to get rid of it, I've got to multiply everything by 3. So the x over 3 gets multiplied by 3, and I get left with x. OK? So three lots of x over 3, the 3's cancel. This term, three lots of x over 2, becomes 3x over 2. OK? So make sure that you're only multiplying the numerator here. And then three lots of the 10. <clears throat> so that's 30. So now I've got rid of one of the fractions. I now have one fraction left. I can multiply now everything by 2. So 2 lots of x, 2 lots of 3x over 2 just leaves me with the 3x, and 2 lots of 30 gets me 60. So then 2x plus 3x is 5x. So then divide both sides by the 5, and we get x is 12. So x equals 12 for the first one. Okay? So we're going to use a very similar method to solve the remaining two here. Okay? So number two. Uh, let's start by multiplying both sides by the four. So I'm going to get 2x over 4 multiplied by 4 is just 2x. Then I'm multiplying this minus 3x over 5 by 4. So it's just going to multiply with the numerator. So I get minus 12x over 5. And I've got to multiply the 6 by the 4 as well. So 4 sixes are 24. I've got one fraction remaining. So I'm going to multiply everything by 5 now. So I'm going to get 10x. I'm going to be left with 12x there. And then multiplying by 5, I'm going to have 120. So 10x take away 12x is minus 2x and then divide both sides by the minus 2. OK, so this answer is x is minus 60. So exactly the same method both times. And I'm going to use the same method for the third one as well. Balancing act. OK, right, so the third one, I want to multiply everything by 3 first. So 4x plus, now remember the 3 just multiplies with the numerator. Doesn't matter what that numerator is, it's got to multiply with both terms here. So we're going to have 6x plus 3 over 2 now, because I've multiplied the 2x by 3 and the 1 by 3. And also, I've got to multiply that 3 on the right hand side by 3, so I get 9. Now I can multiply everything by 2, so 8x. The 6x plus 3 is what's left over, and I multiply the 9 by 2, so I get 18. So 8x and 6x make 14x. I can subtract 3 from both sides, and I'm going to get 15. And so x is equal to 15 over 14. And that is the answer to number 3. OK? So each of these uses the same method, and really, once you've kind of done it a few times, these equations, these linear equations, our fractions involved, won't look too horrible to you in the future. Okay? Because really, there's a simple process to make them easier to solve.